Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah. I was trying to bring y'all a gun video today as I'm going to range and uh, shoot this 308 I have. I haven't shot it yet, so I thought I'd show y'all. But can't make it to the range today. So I thought I'd show you what I'm building. I have um, an AR. I'm building a 5.56. Uh, here's a little bit about it. I have the uh, Spikes Tactical Calico Jack Lower. Yes, a lot of people are going to make fun of that. It's the... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's the pirate one. If you look at the selectors, you know, it says plunder parlay. I thought that was pretty cool. Always been big on pirates. Uh, I have the uh, AR-15 primer lowers kit. It's the color code because it's my very first one. They helped me out a lot. Uh, I got it from my local gun shop. Uh, I did some reviews on it and, you know, asked people about it, what they thought. Everybody says it's pretty good, but the trigger's not that great. So that's probably one thing I'll end up doing, but I don't know who to go with. Uh, I've heard good things about Timony triggers, uh, Geisley, all that. Uh, as for the upper, I have an Anderson upper. Um, got it from my local gun shop. I paid way more than what I should for it. Uh, I didn't know that. Because I was trying to build a budget, and uh, they were selling it for... Uh, it was like $140, but when I got home, I checked out um, Anderson's website, and they had them for like $50. For some reason, my uh, takedown pants, they are sticking really bad. I don't know why. There we go. Uh, as for the... As for the bolt carrier... It's a Bear Creek. I got it from Primary Arms. It's where I got a good bit of these parts from. Um, did some reviews on this too. Some people said they were coming with missing parts. So I don't know how to take it apart. I'm going to take it to a gunsmith and have him break it apart and uh, show me everything about it. Uh, I got a pretty decent deal on it from what I think. It was going for $100 on their website. And, and I marked it down and it was... What I want to say, sixty dollars. Yeah, I want to say it was like sixty dollars um, for a budget rifle from the very first one. I'm not going with you know the greatest parts in the world. Uh, I want to build one to see if I liked it, and I really do. Um, so uh, with all these budget parts, it it is what it is. It's not the greatest parts in the world, but it will run. Um, the main thing that I have to do now, I have to put uh, my barrel on, which I have a barrel, it's Anderson. But um, I have to get a handguard, a uh, gas tube, and gas block. Um, I'm going to do the uh, carbine style low profile, uh, doing a 16 inch barrel. Alright, so uh, for what I have here, I have the Spike Tactical charging handle. I don't know if you can see that. Spike Industries. Uh, my upper. Like I said that was Anderson. Uh, anything else I really uh, can't say too much about it. Uh, for my buffer tube, I haven't bought the stock, but I got the tube itself. It is by Lepers UTG Pro Mill Spec. It's got six positions. Um, I have the uh, ambidextrous uh, sling. It's the ASAP sling by Magpul. Uh, this was a little difficult to put on. Uh, it, it, it got me for a second. Uh, as for the trigger guard, I had the one that was uh, missing the open, what is it called? Open trigger guard. I have a uh, Troy enhanced. Let's see. Yeah. Um, other than that, I said this it's just gonna be a you know a 16 inch budget rifle. Uh, I do have plans to do more. Uh, with that, I will show you all the way going from stripped lower to every part I buy. I'm kind of thinking about doing. I don't know if I'm gonna do another 5.56 five, or if I'm gonna do a 300 blackout. Um, I do have future plans as of now uh, to do a 458 SOCOM. I don't know if I'm going to buy a lower and have it fixed or if I'm going to just buy one that's already ready to go. Um, 
other than that, like I said, I was going to get to the gun range today, but I didn't. Um, there's a new one, or not new, it's new to me. It's close to my house. It's about 30 minutes out. Um, they have a, a 250-yard rifle range, which is what I want to try to do, but I want to find some that are uh, like a 1,000-yard range, but I don't know any around here. Because um, I've got really into buying guns here lately. Um, but with that 308 I have, I want to make it a uh, range rifle. You know, see how far I can get out with it. It's uh, they'd say what you call it um, a savage. Uh, everybody's like, ah, oh, you can't get a thousand a thousand yards out with it. Um, tell me that it's not possible. It's not possible. Uh, I'll want to see if it's possible. Uh, it was a budget rifle, you know. Uh, Savage Axis at Walmart, I mean, $300. Ain't that, you know, ain't that bad of a price. Uh, I was going to use it for hunting, but I stopped hunting, you know. Didn't really have anywhere else to go, so you, just, you know what, let's make a long range rifle with it. So that's what I'm going to try to do. It's still stock, you know, and I've done nothing to it. Uh, but with this coming week, I'm going to try to get out there maybe Wednesday or Thursday. And if I can, uh, I will send... You know, I'll take some videos and send you all the videos. Um, all right, I guess that's it for now. Uh, but yeah, after I get this done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all the, you know, all the bolts and stuff. I'm gonna take a trigger guard and a buffer tube. I'm gonna go get them uh, dipped red, kind of like a blood red. Uh, I think it would be cool to have, you know, black and red. Uh, and I'm gonna change this grip. Uh, it's, it's small and everything, but I just don't don't like the feel of it, you know what I mean? It, it just, one of them things, it just throws me off. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll keep it for a while, but I do, I know I want to change it. Um, I've been looking at different, different grips and everything, and there was one, it was, um, I can't remember who it was by. But I went somewhere and I, they had it on a gun and I tried it and I really liked it. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But other than that, it's going to be me. You know, it's going to be a budget rifle. It's going to be my first rifle, so I'm going to do some special things to it. But it is a budget rifle. Um, like I said, the next one I don't think it's going to be. I think the next one I'm going to try to do at least a, you know, upgraded lower. Uh, if I don't do upgraded top parts, it's all right. Um... But after building this one, I found sites where I can get parts, you know. I don't have to go to my local shop and spend twice the price. I mean, I love the place and everything, you know, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to doing, doing this, I don't want to spend, you know, twice the price of a part when I could got it sent straight to me. The only thing is the lower you can have that sent to you. So, I'm SOL there. Um, other than that, I guess... Uh, I guess that's it. Um, if y'all have any, I don't have any tips. I know I say um too much. Um, so there you go again. But let me know. You know, send me a like or something. Send me a comment. Nah, it really help. I'm trying to start this thing up. Doing different things. Uh, gaming videos. Uh, buying a GoPro uh, on a motorcycle. I'm gonna try to do some vlogs with that. Uh, I go on trips, so maybe I will be doing vlogmas of when I go on a trip or something like that. Other than that, I'm gonna just I'm gonna try to get it going. Uh, it really helps with y'all telling me stuff, you know, stuff you want to see or how to, you know, do stuff like this. Uh, I love guns, uh, I love cars, bikes, stuff like that. If any tips at all, uh, they're really appreciated. Um, so like I said, just send me a like, comment, or anything like that, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, thank you. Y'all have a good one.